Welcome to Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, a podcast where nostalgia comes alive. Together, Jake and his friends interview talents varying from actors, directors, writers, producers, composers, puppeteers, and so much more. Who will they be chatting with today? Find out in this Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, where nostalgia comes alive. My name is Matt Bingle, and this is my pal, Marty Mastery. Hello. And we have our co-hosts, Wyatt Bacala, Chris Bixby, Matthew Johnson, and our host, Jake Devenball. How you doing? Doing great. Great. How, how are you? Great. Great. How are you? How are, how are the you, both? Matt? How is Matt and Marty? 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 Yeah, that's what we're, we're, do- now. We're, we're doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. That's awesome. That's awesome. Matt and Marty, who do we have today? Yes, who do we have? You're not going to help me? Okay, I'll <laughs> help. I'll help. I'm here. Uh, this episode, we are very, very excited. If you yep. remember the old TV channel, PBS Kids Sprout, which is no longer yes. a thing. Yeah, you no longer may thing. Re- Universal it's, Kids. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. now Universal Kids. Mm-hmm. You will know her from the Sunny Side Up show, among many, many others, including Snug's House. Yep. yep. Which we'll mention later on. Yep. We will get to that later. Among many others, please welcome Carly Sharaki. Did we pronounce that right? Yes, you did. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yes. How are you? Yeah, how are you? I'm good. I'm so glad to be there. Here, there's a high five. I'll I'll do it. Yeah. Thank you, Chris, for helping us out with that. Yeah, thank you for helping yes, us out. Of yes, of course. Now, now we know who you are, but for those who don't, would you care to introduce yourself? Sure, um, and I'll apologize uh, for the street sounds because, um, as I as I mentioned before we started recording, I'm just uh, on the side of the road in a coffee shop. Yep, um, <laughs> making okay. my way back to Brooklyn from uh, from no the Hudson Valley. But um, nice. I'm Carly Shiraki. Nice. Um, I work in children's media. I am a host and a writer and a producer, working in television and podcasts and. Um, yes, I, I spent five years as the host of Sunny Side Up, the live preschool morning show on Sprout. And then I also hosted Snug's House, which was an interstitial for Universal mm-hmm. Kids, which is the, the network that Sprout um, sort of transitioned into. And then also for Universal Kids, I hosted the Big Fun Crafty Show, which was an arts and yes. crafts yeah. reality competition show. Um, and then later uh, for Disney Plus and National Geographic, hosted a show called Weird but true, um, oh, wow. and have a, a podcast, really? an interactive podcast that I host with Caitlin Becker, who um, was also a um, Sunny Set Up cast member um, wow. that I actually co-created with somebody who I worked with at Sprout. Um, that show is called Hey Story Go, and it's on Pinna. So I'm all over the place, but um, <laughs> yeah, wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. It's great. It's so, yeah. awesome. So um, I know you're a musician and writer. What what kind of got mm-hmm. you into that? Like, what kind of got you into that field? Specifically, the music part, music and both, yeah, and writing, I like music, um, songwriting, music, yeah. songwriting. Yeah. So I, I mean, I was always kind of a, a, a musical kid in that I was like enthusiastic. Like um, I did a lot of musical theater growing up at our community theater in Wilmington, Delaware. Um, I did a lot of shows at the Wilmington Drama League. Got to shout them out because it was such a good time. Um, and go. then when I was in um, my first job out of college was at this place called Bubbles Academy, which was an early childhood education center. And I was a teacher there and I would, you know, sing and play the guitar. And um, I actually learned, I learned guitar for that job. And um, something that happens to a lot of teachers, I think in general, but also at Bubbles is I, I just wanted to write my own stuff because I was sort of getting sick of some of singing the same old songs. Um, so I'd come yeah. up with little like, you know, oh, we're going to shake our shakers fast and slow and put them on our head and put them on our toe. Yeah. I like, wow, I can write a song. Um, so I started <laughs> writing music uh, for those classes. And then when I got the sunny side up job at Sprout, they were like, you know, as a host of this show, by the way, you also write for the show. So we wrote, the hosts wrote everything um, oh, wow. that they performed with the um, puppeteers who were our uh, co-producers and co-hosts. Yeah. Um, so I ended up writing a lot of music for Sprout just kind of because that's what, like every week, that I was on there, I'd just write a new song and just play with experimenting in different genres. And yeah. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's awesome. awesome. And cheek, the force Harding is amazing. As cheek. Uh, oh, oh my God. He yeah, I love Chica. Who were some of your inspirations? 
Mm. Um, who are, are and were? Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, Either one. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm inspired. I'm inspired by so many people. Um, when it comes to the kids media space, um, I I feel inspired by so much of the work that other human hosts are doing, which I have to specify because <laughs> not all uh, the people in kids media are, you know, humans. There's a lot of animated yeah. characters. Um, but, uh, you know, all, all of the other hosts of Sunny Side Up have always been so inspiring to me, like coming on board with um, Kelly Roman and Denisha Pratt yeah. um, and Sean, uh, mm -hmm. and then getting to work with Tim Kubart and Caitlin Becker and Emily Borromeo. Um, and you know, when I first was preparing for my sunny setup audition, I watched, um, clips of Steve Burns doing blues. Nice. Uh, nice. Uh, yes. Um, and, uh, and, and, and something that I, I say about his work that I also have said to him before that I love so much about what he does is I felt like he, um, is so present and so himself and so like, um, meeting the audience halfway, I felt like yeah. that gave me me permission to do the same for myself. I wasn't like, oh, I want to watch Steve and do what he's doing. It's like I want to do my version of that. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so, and then like, I mean, there are just so many people doing amazing things. Do you guys know Emmanuel Carter, um, who hosts Snog and Nose? He's just like brilliant, wonderful, joyful. You should talk to him. He's great. Um, yeah, Mindy you know. Thomas. Um, uh, from who hosts Wow in the World, which is a podcast, and then she uh, has her own long-running uh, radio show on Sirius XM, Kids Place Live, the Absolutely Mindy Show. Um, uh, Lori Berkner. I mean, we had her on. Yeah, well, you know what's funny? We we just interviewed her yesterday. Wait, are you serious? We just yeah. 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 yeah, she's she's my sister. I love Lori Berkner so much. Nice. And I, yeah, I, I played, she I was to, wonderful. I used yeah, to cover a lot of her guys. songs. Yeah, she's, oh, really? she's wonderful. And both of you were were yeah, the other first time show. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's how I that's how I met her. Yeah, that's how. Um, wow. <laughs> so I met her. I guess I, I've been able to meet a lot of wonderful people through through Sunny Side Up. But yeah, yeah. she and I oh, yeah. performed together a few times, and then would like have coffee like once a year. And then just in the last couple of years, I've become really good friends, and she's just she's the best. That's um, awesome. She uh, really yeah. is. Uh, she is awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anybody, I feel really inspired by people who are making kids media that feels um, specific and feels like authentic to uh, whatever they're kind of like, I like creators who are making things that feel really authentic to them. So I like when I feel like somebody's voice is coming through really clearly. Um, yeah, I love Dan and Claudia Zanes. I know you're amazing. Yeah, we, we, we yeah. also yeah. have yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Where are you? How, how, not them on too. Yeah, Julius's favorite. Julius is over there. Yeah, 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 yeah Julius. He'll yeah, 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 come out a little later. Yeah, right. Aye. Aye. he's just over there. Hmm. He'll come out a little later. But yeah, they were, they were, they were they, really. Uh, everybody, yeah. They were talking to them great. was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're so. Um, I love the type of music that they make and the way they uh, create. They create community wherever they go with their music, yeah. and I think that is so inspiring to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially because like Dan's been doing it for a long, long time. Yeah, oh, he was yeah. At, he he was on Sunny Side Up with you. Yep, that's yeah. that's, 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 that's right. how I met that's him. Right. He was it was my second week on air live, and oh, they were wow. like, "This wow. guy Dan Zayn wow. is coming," and I was like, "Oh my god!" He taught me how to play like three chords on a mandolin, and I was like, "Well, <laughs> I love Dan Zayn. He's the best." And then I met <laughs> Claudia because Dan and Claudia and I all sang together for um, this like performance. This like kids indie music performance thing that happened at Jalopy, which is like a um, music school in Brooklyn, and so mm. they kind of matched different people up to perform together. So I got matched with Dan and Claudia, and they they sang one of the songs I wrote for Sunny Side Up, and I sang like two of their songs, and I was so nervous because I'm like like I'm a musician, but they're musicians. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I, was, I was like just super nervous, but they it was so fun to have them sing on a song I had written. I was like, awesome. what a dream. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. awesome. How did the Sunny Side Up show? How did the Sunny Side Up show come about for you? Mm. I was living in Chicago, and I was an actor, just you yeah. know, living and working. And I, I mentioned this Bubbles Academy job, so that was my side hustle. Um, but when I got the audition for Sunny Side Up through an agent that I had only actually ever met once, because I was in between representation, yeah. they were like, "Oh, we have this audition for you. It's this kids' morning show. It's live." I had never heard of it. Um, but I was like, oh, weird. I've been 
teaching these classes. And I was also at the time an on, like an on-site DJ for Radio Disney. So if there were like live wow. events in oh, Chicago, wow. yeah. they would, Ooh. they had these like DJs that would go around and do these like road crew events where everybody would be like dancing along to high school musical. And I'd be like giving out DVDs and like Jonas Brothers concert tickets on a mic, oh, wow. like, Thank you, wow. Chevy, for having us here at the water park. Oh, that's awesome. Here's whatever. That's awesome. So, that's awesome. so I see, but I see this audition for Saudi setup, and I'm like, that's a really weird combination of all the things I've been doing here in Chicago for the last couple of years. So, um, yeah, I auditioned, and um, and I got, got the it. job. I got the job, and I, I I flew to Philadelphia for a callback, and I was just like, I got into the Sunshine Barn, and Ed Pokrovsky was the um, the Chica puppeteer because there were several puppeteers that would work with Chica on yeah. Sunny Side Up. Forrest mm -hmm. was the only Chica for the Chica show, but for mm -hmm. Sunny Side Up, oh, I, Forrest right. started on Sunny Side Up, but then so it was this guy Ed Pokrovsky who then now has moved all the way up in all sorts of ranks over um, at Universal Kids. We He's done a million things. You gotta find him. Um, we, we will. Ed, we'll, we'll get everybody yeah. from Sunny Side Up. Yeah. <laughs> He's great. So I, he and I in the audition right away, I was like, oh, this guy, we're having a good time. And everybody that I met, I was like, this feels like it's really meant to be. And then I got back to Chicago and like a week later, I got a call that I had gotten the job and I like flipped out. And then I had to tell all the like moms in all the classes that I taught, like, you know, I'm, I'm leaving Chicago to take this job. I'm like, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's a funny side up show, like Chica. And they were all like, what? Oh my God. And I, I, was, I was like, oh, cool. You've heard of it. Like I have never, I just didn't know. Cause I didn't have, I didn't even think I had TV um, at the time. I was just like an actor living in Chicago with a, in a lofted bed, like in a little shoebox, working yeah. 12 jobs to pay the rent. So um, yeah, it was, uh, it was really, really cool. And then, um, you know, it was the best, it was like grad school for children's media because it was, live every day it was, it was. super collaborative mm -hmm. yeah um, yeah the best time so yeah, i i bet and i yeah, know um, i missed it talked about sean i believe we yeah. had him we were trying to get him on at the very beginning but we never had oh him sean's on. amazing sean is so we funny get him on. like yeah. insanely him. funny and then like a super talented artist yeah um, exactly you, yeah. you see what he does with noodle and noodle which is amazing yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's great. That's Mm. You do mm -mm -mm. an amazing show too. Hey Marty, yes. how about you ask a question? Okay. I'll <laughs> <laughs> <Out> human. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> okay, your turn. Do you, do you have any specific fun memories of being a part of the Sunny Side Up show? Um, oh man. One time <laughs> the first thing that comes to mind is I don't know why this came to my mind. We were doing something. There's so, I mean, live television, like things went wrong all the time. Yeah. Things oh, yeah. went right. Yeah. Ways. Also, like, know you feels. know, you have a, um, uh, a puppeteer beside you who's like crouched at your feet. Um, and that was a very powerful position for that human being to be in. Um, one of the puppeteers would particularly delight in, um, like uh stuffing things in my shoes so i'd be like huh. you know oh welcome, welcome back to sunny setup and it's like feel something in my ankles and i'd look down and there'd be like feathers and like she'd like be drawing on my legs and i'd be like jackie <laughs> what are you doing um and one time <laughs> and, and that used to annoy me but it was fun but then one time we were doing something where i had to have a plate of onion rings and i i don't know if it's like i was trying to pass it to chica or something happened and all the onion rings just like fell on her head and they were just no. like greasy, oh, wow. greasy, crumbly <laughs> onion rings. And I was just like, oh my God. And we were live, so we couldn't do anything about it. But she was just like nope. down there giving me these eyes, like, how dare you? So, um, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. I, I, that, that's like the first first thing that comes to mind is just like little mishaps like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's, awesome. yeah. that's funny. Yes. Yeah, do, you, um, okay. do you have a favorite set? Do you have a favorite segment that you did on the Sunny Setup Show? Yes, one of my favorite segments. Uh, I have several favorite segments, but yeah. the um, the <laughs> there's a a song that I wrote about dads. Yes, um, the mm, dad song. Yes. Which, yeah, like, yeah. For, for some reason, it's like one of my favorite things I've ever written because I, it just was so silly. And I the whole if I look, when I watch the video because it's like on YouTube. It my is. mustache is like popping off, which I'm like. <laughs> I yeah. can see that I'm trying not to like open my mouth too wide because I don't want it to fall off all the way. And believe mm -hmm. it or not, I'm I'm wearing a wig in the segment, which makes no sense because like it looks like my same hair. But I remember we had like two minutes, and I was like <gasps> rushing to put this wig on. And then like at the end at the end of the song, Chica and I are both just kind of riffing, and so I'm just like, 
I'm like, we're just dads and I'm just yeah. dads. And, and for some reason, it just tickles me. But then Chica is just rolling. If you watch, she just goes back and forth in a straight line, screaming. So it's like I'm <laughs> yeah. singing and then the, the bird's just going, ah! <laughs> so that, that like kills me with laughter when I think about it because it just, it just tickles me when I watch that yeah. back. I like, it's like, that's what we did. <laughs> that's like one thing. And then another, two other absolute favorites are when Rishka Hargitay from um, Law and Order came and guested and we were live with her doing um, this detective bit, Carly and Chica's detective agency. Yeah. And we had, we had like five minutes to, she was running late cause she had been in traffic coming through Midtown or something. And um, we had five oh, minutes God. to be like, here's what we're doing. This is what you say. This is where you look. And then, and then, and then we were going to be live. And she just looked at me. She's like, I trust you. And I was like, oh, okay. And we did it. And it was like, <laughs> and it was thrilling and it went perfectly. Um, and then when we had Kate McKinnon on from SNL, she was mm. just like, it was She's such awesome. a dream to like exchange words with Kate mm-hmm. McKinnon and like just just be silly with her so yeah yeah, yeah. and that's then there's certain funny. things like the um dress up just chica and then the birthdays uh-huh. the birthday uh, just chica oh yeah classic mm-hmm. absolutely classic, classic. absolutely classic the i mean all the messages and interactions with kids yeah. like there was like one of my favorite stories i used to tell is you know we'd get messages throughout the show that kids yeah. would send us through our website and um one time we got a message from a kid that it was like music week and the kid was like i i like to write music and I read the message and I was like, hey, if you uh, see this and you have time, send us. Or he said, I like to write raps. And I remember saying, if you, if you see this, like, send us a rap. And so, like, an hour later, the kid, wrote, like, sent us in some rap that he had written and we got to read it. Which, like, it's funny. Oh, wow. In the in- instantaneous world of, like, YouTube Live and Instagram Live and Facebook Live. Like, I do, I, yeah. I during the pandemic, mm-hmm. did a little live show on my Instagram and Facebook that yeah. was, like, such an immediate exchange with the audience. Mm-hmm. So, like, yep. To, to yeah. talk about... To talk about sunny side up and the exchange with the audience now it, it's like oh my god it took us hours to hear from yeah. the kids but, <laughs> but for at the time <clears throat> it was a really cool way to feel immediately connected to the audience um and I'm, i feel so grateful that we were able to offer what felt like a real-time personal connection mm-hmm. with the kids that were at yeah. home mm-hmm. yeah. yeah exactly and i know what you mean by the live thing because i know me and jakey turned tuned into one when you were doing tube down <laughs> you really? did oh my really? god yeah, yeah. But Matt and Marty go live on Instagram a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They do. So, they, so yeah. we know about the Instagram live thing. Yeah. We go live on Instagram all the time. People yep. trying to request to be live with you and you have to say no. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Watch oh, what yeah. you requested. Watch, watch. Exactly there, there's like, a, there's like an entire like, puppetry I don't know community. You. There's like there's an entire oh puppetry god. community there's and Matt and his friends go community. live. Oh my god. Our community is just awesome. Do you know David Bizarro? Yes, I've I've heard of him. Yes, oh, he's great. He's, he's, he's great. incredible. Very talented puppeteer. Yeah. Um, I think he actually yeah. complimented uh, Matt's puppetry. Wait, 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 who? Frank Cordero. Oh, Frank Cordero. Cordero. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. I I puppeteered yes. a the, a puppet with him. I was the tail. He was the body in Tim wow. Kubar's Breakfast Club music video wow. when we, oh, we, were, we were shooting. We wow. were shooting that. Wow. And, uh, wow. And so I, I, have, oh. I have a picture of me like operating the tail. And it's oh very fun. That's awesome. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. awesome. No, there's, there's a whole puppetry community. One of the people from it is now on Sesame Street, which is yes. amazing. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. That's yeah. amazing. Oh, no. Amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. Shout out to Brandon um, Smith, a previous guest. Yes. Yep. Yeah, Brandon's amazing. Brandon, so proud of you. So, um, okay, what's Jake. your favorite song you win for, win for the show? My favorite song for the show? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. yeah. Okay, so th- definitely the dad song I, I'm I'm proud of. Yes. But my, I, I guess yes. my really, I love um, uh, the construction song because I wrote this construction yeah. song and then we got to go to uh, Diggerland, which is yeah. a construction themed amusement park. And we got to make a music video for it. And I I got to like operate different construction vehicles. Like that just felt absurd and so much fun. And then um, uh, Ding Dong, you know, the Ding Dong song, which is I did Mm. it for Snug's house. That song, I I remember I wrote it and I was like, this is so weird. They're never going to let me make this. And then I like told whoever, I was like, hey, how about this song? And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, okay. And it's (laughs) like at one point I come out and the song dressed in a, as a pot of soup and our education mm-hmm. consultant, Gail Levin Simon, who is a very dear friend of mine. She was like, she got the lyrics and was like, you can't be this pot of soup because it doesn't make sense. Like cognitively you've, you've given examples of things that obviously make sounds and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, you can't be the pot of soup. And I was like, Gail, 
I love you. I'm overriding you. I have to be the pot of soup. Uh, and uh, and from my my some of my friends and my siblings who have uh, who are teachers have played the song for their classrooms, and the kids the kids love the pot of soup. And then I come out. It's like a ga- the song is almost like a game, and yeah. Snug and I come through the door as different characters making different sounds. And so the pot of soup is just silly. But then Snug comes out as a baby and cries, and apparently there are classrooms full of kindergartners that just lose their mind over like the opportunity to make crying sounds. So my sister said she couldn't play that far into the video in class. She had to like cut the video early. So the kids would lose their, lose their minds. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good question. Matthew, how about you ask the next one? Thank you. Thank All you. right. Um, so who was some of your favorite guests that you had on? Yeah. Like Great besides, question. you know, Dan and Claudia and Lori Berkner and you know, yeah. all those wonderful people yeah yeah first of all i just i love the way that you all share this um interview and toss the questions around it's really beautiful yeah Um, yeah, so let me think here who i so like i know lori did you had the wiggles on yeah oh man Mm -hmm. yes the wiggles exactly yes the wiggles are are so fun they They are yes such a like um legitimate like i mean obviously they're a legitimate band but like in between takes they'd just be like hanging out like playing Beatles songs on the guitar like um yeah. uh, yeah. they're just like the, <laughs> the energy like they feel like like old school rock and roll like um yes. really 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 we are all here around. yeah very much um, fan of the wiggles yeah, yeah. yeah. i like lots of dudes they of them like the whole community we dedicated to them oh my god they're amazing um they are so, so they were awesome um who else what other guests yeah kate mckinnon and mariska hargitay um uh we had oh i got to work with william shatner that was really cool for mm. a, i think it was a detective, also a detective segment um uh brandy mel b um so many uh like i mean just so many people i feel like i'm like gonna after we're done i'm gonna remember like a hundred more oh i got to work with dolly parton that was oh, yeah. crazy no oh, wow. 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 Oh, wow. Oh, I, for Snug's house, because I forget, like, we had certain celebrities for Tiny Setup and then certain celebrities for Snug's house. For Snug's house, we also had Jimmy Fallon, and that was super fun. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, we, we had, we had a, like, a, a thing That's with right. him. And then people that came to Sunny Setup, oh, and I, I got to work with John Hamm on Sunny Setup, oh, nice. but then I didn't, like, other people that came through that I didn't actually get to work with, but that are, I'm so glad they came on the show was, like, I mean, Michelle Obama, um, Jenny Slate did a really fun segment, um, Steve Burns came on and, and played music from his album. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yes. um, yeah. and nice. Barney also yeah. came on when I don't think you were there. No, right. that, that, was, that, yeah, was, that was Kelly. Barney, yeah, it was Kelly. I missed Oscar the Grouch. Um, oh, Oscar. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm so bummed about that. Like, yeah, I missed Carol Spinney. Um, yes. Yeah. 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 Amazing, amazing person. Oh. Yes. Yeah, but just really such a fun way to meet people. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Yeah, so uh, do you still keep in touch with anyone from the Sunny Setup show? Oh, my God. Caitlin Becker and I, I mean, all of them, nice. she and I yeah. talk like a million times a day, but I really talked yeah. to all of them. Like, I was just messaging Emily. Tim Kubart's birthday was yesterday. So, hey. wow. Nice. Uh, happy, happy birthday, Tim. Happy birthday, Tim. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday, yeah. Tim. The yeah. four of us were really, really close because we, like, I think, did the last that last stretch of the show together. We yeah. just, like, right. I mean, mm-hmm. just really, we text all the time. But yeah, all the, all those guys are awesome. They've, we'd love to, you know, we, we have, have them to. We the have future. to. Yes. We gotta find them. <laughs> we need to. Yes, we they, they're too. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we'd like to so so now of course uh we mentioned we mentioned it a little bit but of course after a while sunny side up eventually became uh snug's house so what, what was it like working on snug's house like what was the overall experience it was really fun it was really cool to um take the things that we knew had worked for sunny side up and then like drop them deeper like working with chris and having because with with chica we had multiple puppeteers um that and so, some of that was like to suit the workflow because the um the the, the chica spoke through a squeaker so it, it yeah. wasn't it didn't have That's to right. be just one one person whereas mm-hmm. um with snug's house it was like we had one puppeteer um and so chris really got to make make the character his own and having a character that i 
could interact with who could be verbal. Um, let us like kind of get into some social emotional stuff in a different kind of way that we couldn't really do with Chica as we couldn't go as deep. Um, and working with Donnell was wonderful, super, super talented, fun guy. Um, it was cool to work with more. Um, like when I first started at Sunny Side Up, we were really loosely scripted. Like maybe we'd have a list of beats, but it, we didn't have scripts. Hmm. And for Snug's right. House, because we were, um, we were no longer live, we worked with scripts. So we got to do some like fun, weird stuff that we couldn't, we got to just like try some more newer things. Um, so that was, it was, it was really fun. Um, I, I really love live i love the energy of it but um yes. yeah there was also mm -hmm. something there was something cool about like uh having the space to like do more tricks for lack of a better word because we right. could edit um meant that we got to like try some some new like types of things so it was really fun mm -hmm. that's yeah. awesome yeah yeah so um now moving on from shows like sunny side up to uh working on shows like the big fun crafty show and you know weird but true which you mentioned a bit earlier what what, what were working what was working on that show those shows like yeah it was cool to go it's almost like i i um i stepped like i took little steps out of from live into a studio show because we shot the big fun crafty show in a studio yeah. but it was still mm -hmm. live to tape as they say in that like yeah we just kind of started the clock and started shooting um, because we wanted the competition to be able to feel like authentic. So um, there wasn't a lot of like stopping and starting and going back. Like once the kids were on set, we were going, we did shoot two episodes a day though, which was crazy. Um, we, wow. we shot 40, 40 episodes wow. in like six weeks. It was nuts. Um, wow. But it was wow. really, really, yeah, it was really fun to work with real kids though. Um, and to like, nice. uh, like kind of be in charge of like, keeping their energy up and connecting with them over what they were doing. Like I really, really loved like being kind of like their guide and cheerleader. And I was mm -hmm. so impressed by everything that the kids made. And it was really sad that we didn't get to make more because um, I felt like a lot of kids who watched that show would have been then excited to try to be on it. Um, and then yeah. weird, but true was totally different in that it was like a portion of it was in a studio a portion of it was in the field and then a portion of it was like those kind of like these crafted 2d graphic things but the stuff in the studio unlike the big fun crafty show which was live to tape the studio stuff was more like traditional so we would like do a scene from like five different angles and do it again and again and again and because i came from live or live the tape that was really different and kind of difficult for me to have to like do the same thing 10 times like yeah I just, I'm just like not used to that. So, I, but I, by the end, I was like, oh, I see. You can like then try a bunch of different things, and then the editors have mm -hmm. fun things that they can choose. But um, so the studio stuff was yeah. fun for Weird but True, but the adventures in the field for Weird but True were incredible. Like, I learned how to scuba dive. We went hunting, not, not hunting because we weren't trying to get them, but we went searching for um, scorpions in yeah. the woods wow. in the middle of the night. We um, went, I put my hands oh. on a rocket ship that's going to go to Mars Whoa. in a couple of years. Um, wow. Yeah. Wow. I like operated a steam train, like dug up dinosaur bones in Utah, like, and to spend the eight months leading up to the pandemic traveling the country and having adventures. Like, I feel so grateful for the timing of that. That's awesome. It was really fun. Oh. I bet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So what, what would you say is the most, uh, the difficult part about like uh being a musician and a writer um specifically being a musician and a writer um i think sometimes it's hard to force the flow if, if it's not happening like um w when i'm writing a song or like a lot of times like for tim kubart and some for some other kindy artists I, i'll write like a little rap verse for an existing song yeah. and i'll a lot of times I'll hear the music and just like right away start like writing in the notes section of my phone or like writing on paper or like singing into my phone mm -hmm. in like a recording. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and it just like, I'm not really thinking too hard about it. It just kind of like spills out. Um, but yeah. sometimes when I sit down to write a script, like for Hey Story We Go, the pin a podcast that I write yeah. for, if I'm like not in the zone, 
it feels so hard, like to start with a blank page. Um, so yeah, I think just sometimes, uh, getting, getting started and like igniting the flame, um, can mm -hmm. feel tough, but, yeah. um, uh, and working in the pandemic alone was really hard. So I started doing, um, these weekly zoom co-working like hangouts with other writers and musicians and there makers so that we could all kind of like put our screens on mute, but like work in our own homes and feel like we were kind of with other people. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. All right. So do you have any advice for people who want to get into music or making music or writing? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's the same advice I have for, for everything. Like, um, make things make yeah. as many things as you can so that you can start knowing what your your voice is um make things that sound like the things that you like like i think that's how you find your your voice and your style um and luckily we live in a world where you can get your stuff out on streaming Sorry. um Those are good. Yeah. Uh, like you, you can get your stuff in, um, on the internet, on Instagram, on TikTok, on YouTube, like think, don't be afraid to like make things and put it out in the world. Um, and like, and just keep going. If you love it, keep going, keep doing it. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Yes. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. So Jake, why don't you ask the next Can you share any projects you're working on now? Yeah. Um, what am I working on right now? We're working on the second season of Hey Story Go, which is um, the podcast I was talking about that I make for Pinna. That's an interactive storytelling and movement podcast for preschoolers. Yeah. Um, nice. I am. Ooh. Oh, I'm doing a project for Tinkercast um, podcast company. So it's a that's a um, something for the audio space. And then I'm uh, trying to um, make Tube Town the thing for my Instagram and my Facebook yep. the series. So I'm, nice. I'm developing that and, and kind of going out with it right now. Um, so I think those are the things that I can sort of share right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, always, always like have my hand in a few things. So, mm -hmm. I'll, uh, you know, I keep the right. internet posted. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Boom. Well, what would you like to say to your fans and supporters? Oh. Oh my goodness. I would say um, thank you for joining me on this crazy ride. It's, um, you know, doing Tube Town on Instagram and Facebook and hearing from people that used to watch Tube Town when I would do it as a part of Sunnyside Up was like super cool. Yeah. Um, it's such an mm -hmm. honor to be able to um, like participate in the lives of families everywhere. Like, you know, every kid that woke up with Sunnyside Up, every kid that watched big fun crafty show and then went and made a craft that they saw every kid that um saw weird but true and had it spark their imagination or curiosity in some way yeah. just i feel really excited and honored to be a part of their like curiosity and learning journey um and uh yeah and i would say that like just follow my you know social medias which i'm, I'm trying to be good about posting you know things that i'm up to but um but that's like nice. you know a good place to watch what I'm, what I'm up to next. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that's probably what I would say. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Speaking of social Who's media, that? people. That's Julius. That's my other friend, Julius. Julius. Hi. You were just talking like about me you. earlier. Yeah, we, we had brought up uh, Dan and Claudia Zanes earlier. Oh, my favorite <laughs> interview. Still oh, my yeah. favorite. Yeah. 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 They were really wonderful. Amazing. They're nice. Oh, they, yeah. they were. They were. They were. They were, they were really nice. Yeah. They were. Yes. They were. They were so, awesome. So fun to interview. Oh, um, Julius, I like. Imagine this. Together. We have you oh, back on you. the future if you're up for it, and we have them on as well. I mean, <laughs> look, you should have just a big party. Get everybody. Let's do it. We have them there. Yeah, okay. get everyone. That would be awesome. Edition. Get Forrest involved. Yeah, yeah, Forrest. Yeah, crazy. Awesome. crazy. Is it forced it because else, yeah, um, uh, uh, I'm speaking of social media. Is amazing. He has such a good heart. He's such yeah, a good have, person. Yes. We're, yeah. we're trying to find him. They're all mm -hmm. amazing. Speaking of social media, if people would like to contact you, where where can they find you? Yeah, they can find me on uh, Instagram at Carly Shiraki. Um, I have a Facebook page, which I, I try to update from time to time, which is facebook.com slash Carly Shiraki. And then my, my website, carlishiraki.com has like different things that I'm up to, including like some of the out, the stuff I do outside of kids media. Like I do some facilitation and 
you know, workshops with educators and um, yeah. uh, like stuff that has to do, it's like not directly having to do with kids media, but it's like it, just other, other kind of work that I do. So um, <gasps> I think, awesome. yeah, Instagram, Facebook, I'm on Twitter, but I don't really use Twitter that much. Eh. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll put all that in the description. Yeah. yeah but yeah. all your social media. Uh, uh, yeah. Jakey, I think you should you. show the art that you made. Cause oh, you yeah. brought it up, you know. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. yeah. Do, do you remember that? Just, just like to sit there and acknowledge. Oh that. my god! We'd have he to get it. All that big. himself. Oh look, and there's Michelle and Stacia. And a good night mm-hmm. show. And, and yeah, there's, there's everyone. And I, I'm thinking that's you. I think it's been a it's been a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't even remember. I think it's you. I think it's you. I don't remember. It was everyone. Oh my god. Come on, man. I got the. You got it. Have you talked to Michelle and Stacia no. from the no. Night Show? We you should to talk be. to both. If you talk to both of them together, I bet it would be the yeah, best hour of your be lives. Amazing. They're so. Oh my fun. gosh! Yeah, that, that's about they're great. Yeah. Didn't we have the person who did Star? That's yeah, Stacia. I, that's yeah, we had her. We, no, no, oh. we had her. No, yeah, no, she was one of our earlier guests, but we never. Uh, I think booked her, but we got to do that soon. She's awesome. Yes, we do. Yeah, yes. awesome. So before we ask the, mm-hmm. the last question, I know um, on your website, you mentioned uh, something called Bounce. Could you, uh, ah, could, could, you ex- ah. could you explain a little bit about what that is? Yes. Thank you for asking um, about that. Yeah. So Bounce is like this thing that I've been talking about for years. And it's, it's how I think about the work that I do in the world. I feel like Bounce is, it says on the website, like the that kind of energy of possibility that you feel when you're collaborating with people, like the, the way that all of you are like bouncing with the questions that you're asking and Man. the way you're kind of connecting with me. And there's kind of like a flow between us. Um, and then like, I think about bounce also as um, you know, how, when you bounce forward or bounce back after something that's been hard. Um, so it kind of like includes resi- like an element of resilience to me. Um, and it's it, the word itself, you know, contains rhythm, um, whether it's like a personal rhythm or a, an interpersonal rhythm. Um, so in everything I do, I feel like that's what I'm, I'm trying to create the conditions for people to connect to their sense of bounce. So if oh, I'm yeah. like, if I'm making tubes on tube town and you're making tubes on tube town, we're bouncing, you're bouncing. <laughs> you it's like, it's kind of like the force. Yeah. It's like my version of yeah. the force. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Chris, I think you should ask this question. You haven't asked it in a while, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. So the last last mm-hmm. question. So this podcast is, of course, called Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show. Uh, mm-hmm. wh- when you think of nostalgia, wh- what do you think of, or what does nostalgia mean to you? Oh, that is such a great question. Um, Thank you. I mean, I I I think of the stuff that like was like my warm, cozy blanket when I was a kid. Like for yeah. me. It's, yeah. Carmen yeah. San- where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yes. 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 I mean, That's so amazing. good. Uh, it's like um, Murder She Wrote, which is very different than Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, but right. I still love the show Murder yeah. She Wrote. Yeah. Um, it's uh, I actually really, really liked Barney when I was. Yeah. Really yeah. Yes. All the yeah. fans of Barney, too. Yeah. Like, yes. I, I Barney's, really, Barney's just amazing. Barney, yeah. like, I really, really was a, a kid that loved Barney. Um, yeah, so it's like I feel like a kind of a warm and fuzzy feeling. Even just uh, this morning, I was with my um, some friends of mine, uh, uh, this family that I'm friends with, and there are twin ten year old boys. And this morning, they were at their cabin playing um, Super Mario on N sixty four. And oh, wow. Wow. I have hmm. right, and I wow. have such distinct memories of being a kid in the summertime playing N64 Super Mario with my siblings and like seeing them play it. Like I immediately felt just like warm and cozy. I was like, Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Nostalgia. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Thank you so much. much. This was a blast. Yes. Thank you so much. That's so fun. (laughs) Whenever Matt contacts Chris Palmier, we'll tell him you said hi. Yes. I'll definitely let him know you said hi. Yes. yes, yes, I love him so much. Mm-hmm. Um, oh that my goodness, it's fun also. talking to all my friends. Yeah, um, so, well, it's so nice to be with awesome. all of you. Um, yeah, so, I love what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, thank, you, so yeah thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm glad for you being you know, being guests, and I hope you know be back in the show in the future. And and hey, thank you for, for what you've done on Science Up Show to be a part of our childhood and keep up your great work. And, yeah, yeah, you're yes, definitely worth it. it. Thanks, so, Jake. Thanks, everybody. Yes, yeah, so to all our viewers and listeners, that brings another wonderful episode of Jake's Happiness Auto Show to a close. Thanks again to Carly Shiraki for being a guest. We've 
absolutely just had a blast talking with you, Carly. Yeah. Yes, we really do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Man, so, so many. I'm excited to put that. Oh man! <laughs> I, I, uh, I should yeah, have been doing this the whole week. time. Sorry. <laughs> That's good. It's, it's fine. Oh okay. well, yes, yeah, so everybody. Yeah. Yes, everybody. Until next time, remember that you are worth it, and to always stay nostalgic. Stay Goodbye, nostalgic. everybody. You're worth it. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. You're worth it. Bye. Bye. See you next time on another episode of Jake's Happy Nostalgia Show, where nostalgia comes alive. Be sure to follow us on social media and stream us wherever you find your favorite podcasts. And as always, remember that you are worth it and to always stay nostalgic. Bye-bye.